Good morning. How are you guys doing today? Okay? Everybody all right? Okay. Come on up. Come one, come all. Here we go. Wave them in. All right. I want to show you something that I got right outside of the back door of the church. Look at these beautiful flowers. Look at this. They are blooming right outside that wall there in our garden that's out there behind the church. Aren't they pretty? They're pretty. And I got to thinking that um, I want to talk to you about connections today. Connections. Now, listen carefully. These flowers are connected to a bush. The bush is connected to the ground. The ground is connected to the earth. The earth is connected to the solar system. The solar system is connected to the universe. And the universe is connected to God. So everything is connected to God. You are connected to God. I'm connected to God. We're all connected in some way to God. It all goes back to God. Isn't that wonderful? The reason I say that is, in one of our readings today, Jesus said about himself, he said, I am the vine and you are the branches. You are the branches. Did you ever hear that one? You have a question? Yeah, you forgot galaxies. Yeah, galaxies, that's right. I forgot galaxies. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> you're absolutely right. So, we're all connected to God. Let's go back to where we were. Jesus said, I'm the vine, you are the branches. And you know, these flourish when they're connected to the bush. Now, I took the liberty of picking a few of these flowers because I wanted to share them with you and show you how, how beautiful they are. But what happens when we're disconnected from Jesus? What happens when we cut ourselves off? Well, we don't do very well. Just like these are eventually going to perish because they're disconnected from their source of nourishment, the bush where they came from. Everybody got that? Trivia question, what are these called? Anybody know what these are called? Besides pretty red flowers? What's the name? Azaleas. Azaleas, yeah, I did not know that. I did not know that uh, because I, I uh, showed off these flowers to the Sparta children and I didn't know it then, but somebody corrected me, they are azaleas, see that? But they're, they flourish when they're connected to the azalea bush, that's what I'm saying. Just like we flourish when we're connected with Jesus. Now, how do we stay connected with Jesus? Anybody have an idea? How can we stay connected with our source of love and grace? What do we do? Thank you. Good answer. He said random acts of kindness, which is something we've been talking about for weeks and weeks. Miss Aaron's talking about it. Random acts of kindness help us to stay connected. How else can we stay connected to Jesus? Sebastian? Church, yeah, when we come to worship, we are connected with God, we're connected with God's spirit, we're connected with our worship experience. Uh, what specifically can we do in worship? How about when we do this? What's that? When we pray, you can stay connected with God when you pray. And you can pray anytime, anywhere, any place. You don't have to just be in church to pray, right? You can stay connected with God all throughout your day. It's a great way so there are other ways to stay connected. So what I'm saying to you is God is with you. And the worst thing you can do is turn your back on God or say, I don't want to be connected with God. I don't want to. But the best thing you can do is say, I want to stay close to God. I want to stay connected to God. Just like those flowers were connected with the bush they came from. You got it? Pretty simple, right? Well, let's connect with God right now. I say we, we offer a prayer. What do you think, huh? And grown-ups, can you join us for prayer? Stay connected. Here we go. Lord God, we thank you because we know you're here with us today. We know that your spirit is alive and well in this place. And we are connected with you. We're able to speak with you. We feel your presence, your spirit, your love, and your grace. And we thank you, Lord, for promising to be with us always in Jesus' name we pray, amen, amen. So remember what Jesus said. Listen carefully. What he said, he said, he's the vine, we are the branches. We stay connected with Jesus. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah.
Well, I am so glad that you are here today in church. Now you can stay connected with our Sunday school program. Miss Aaron has a wonderful lesson planned for you. So Miss Aaron, you want to take the troops out and stay connected. All right. Friends, I am